mostly the A-10 was designed solely around the, around the aircraft gun. Uh, the gun system was designed in the late 70s uh, for the Navy. The Navy didn't want to use it because the system was too big. So they designed an aircraft around it. So that's what the A-10 became, um, was a, a flying gun for all intents and purposes. The A-10 was, like I said, solely purpose designed by the, around the gun. So they seems to be the big call. It's accuracy, its ability to destroy targets within a, a confined space or a smaller space makes it uh, a pretty reliable weapon in the battlefield these days. Uh, personally, as a weapons guy, yeah, the, the A-10 is probably one of my favorites. Uh, working on the gun and the gun system, because it is such a, a reliable system and a very unique system to the aircraft world, it's, uh, it's, it's fun to work on. Um, I think most of the neat stuff that, uh, especially that are unique to Fort Wayne, um, I think that's probably the neatest part, the, the history, the heritage of the 122nd, the people who work here. Not so much the A-10, but uh, giving the 122nd that uh, an A-10 or an aircraft that's a legacy aircraft in the Air Force to work, to maintain and fly, I think that's probably the coolest part about what we do. Uh, the 122nd has a rep reputation of uh, making the aircraft fly and producing sorties. And so when they gave us the A-10, it was a really big challenge at first, but uh, I think now that we've gotten to the rhythm of having it for a certain amount of time, uh, it's flying really well for us.